guys, welcome to the homestead. So what we're gonna do today is talk about how to make your coop secure, making sure your coop is very secure from, to keep predators from getting inside. A lot of people, when they start homesteading, when they build a homestead, one of the first things they do is to begin with chickens. It's a very good first uh, project for new uh, homesteaders. Um, you know, they want eggs and they want the birds for meat. Uh, so a lot of people get started with chickens, but I hear stories over and over and over and over and over again on YouTube and Facebook where something has gotten into their chicken coop and has gotten to their chickens is eating the eggs or eating the chicks or just uh, getting inside and laying waste to your entire flock. Well, having a coop that is like Fort Knox, you know, a fortress, a castle, you want to be able to protect your chickens. And the only way you can do that is to build a good coop. Well, several years ago, we moved into our homestead, and one of the first things we built was uh, a chicken house. And right from the start, I wanted to safeguard the chickens because I heard somebody say once, if you don't safeguard your chickens and protect them within two years, they will all be gone. Well, I guess if you're living in a urban setting where you can have just two or three chickens, you may be okay because you don't have the predators, but out here where we are, there are hawks and raccoons and foxes and all kinds of stuff. Snakes that can get in, get your eggs and your chickens. So the first thing I did was planning, uh, beside the features of the chicken house with nesting boxes and uh, proper ventilation. I uh, put the chicken house up off the ground so nothing can di dig underneath it. And then I ran the run out and I put wire buried in the ground and then uh, put sheet metal on the side of that and then put rocks on it so if something would come along and try to dig into the run, they'd run into that sheet metal and couldn't do it. And in fact, there's been on several occasions, raccoons have tried to dig into the run and they hit that sheet metal and they just couldn't do it. The second thing I want to do is put on a on the run is a, a wire mesh over the top of the run because I didn't want to I wanted to prevent hawks from flying down in during the day and getting a chicken. I've seen on YouTube some places where uh, people don't have uh, netting on top of the run and hawks or crows will come in and get their chickens. Uh, another thing I did was put. Uh, a finer wire mesh about 18 inches above the ground in the run to prevent snakes from crawling in. Now there's, there's small snakes that can get in there, but uh, the holes are really kind of small for a, uh, a large snake to get in. And thus far, I haven't lost a single chicken at night because I can lock them up. And once they're locked up, there's not even a snake can get inside that coop. Uh, you have to imagine your chicken house is being a fortress that's under attack because every single night there are dogs, there's coyotes, raccoons. They walk the circuit of that chicken house looking for a way to get in. They're looking for, oh, did he forget to close the door? Well, you forget to close the door, your chickens are going to be gone in the morning. Uh, you got to maintain your chicken house. You just can't let dry rot get into the floor of your chicken house and then the mice come along and eat out a section or the wall of your chicken house and then pretty soon you've got a raccoon gets in there or a squirrel gets in there. It just creates havoc. There's just all kinds of things that can get in your coop. So it has to be a fortress. When I did the roof, running the rafters and the purlins, I blocked the ends to fill any gaps where something could crawl up the wall and then inside the house through one of those gaps between the rafters. Uh, that's important to do to, to tighten up the, your roof. And then another thing, on every single door I have at least two mechanisms for locking that door. Uh, raccoons can be pretty smart in figuring out how to open a door. So I don't have one, I have two on every single door. That includes all the turkey house and, and the chicken house. Now during the day is, presents uh, a lot of different problems. I have to admit, we have lost a few chickens from predators. Foxes 
not a whole lot you can do with a fox because they can just in there and out. They can grab a chicken so fast that you just don't really even know what happened. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of foxes out here. Uh, there are hawks and they fly around regularly and we've lost one or two chickens due to hawks. But primarily, our rooster has saved the chickens from getting taken by hawks. He is such a good rooster. If you've never seen a rooster, look up and see a predator in the sky and set out an alarm and all the chickens run for cover. It is just the most amazing thing to watch. He, sometimes you don't even hear him, but those, those hens, they've heard him and they just run for cover, like <laughs> just take two, three seconds to get into the trees. And he saves the life of uh, our chickens. So having a rooster is an important thing when it comes to protecting your flock. But then if you don't care, you certainly don't need the rooster for, for eggs, but uh, for getting and protecting your chickens, you need a rooster. Okay, so you have two roosters. It's tough being number two, because the, uh, the senior rooster, he's always gonna be pecking on the younger rooster. He's not gonna let him eat. He's gonna run him out of the house. He can't go, the second rooster can't go in the house until the older rooster has gone to bed at night. It's, uh, it's tough being number two. But uh, they learn to get along. It's just one of those things of having two roosters it's just nature, they're, they're not going to get along very well. Uh, but if you want to have uh, good fertilization of your eggs and good protection of your flock, you need two roosters. So there you go, there's everything we have done to make sure our chicken flock is going to be healthy and growing and provide us uh, the eggs and the meat and even the manure is, is widely usable uh, for compost and for our gardens and other uses. And so we get a lot of use out of our chickens. It's important to keep your chickens safe. They are the most vulnerable animal you're going to have on your homestead. So make your chicken coop as strong and as solid as you possibly can. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please check out this list of amazing folks. These are our patrons. They make all of our videos possible. We, they are the executive producers of our show and we couldn't do what we do here on YouTube uh, without their help. If you want to know more, you can go to patreon.com slash an American homestead. Do you know a friend who has chickens? Show, show them this video. Show them how they can keep their coop secure. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on an American homestead.